Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. In this video, we will apply the ref to the component and let's see what will happen to the comp. So now up to now in the previous video, we have applied a ref to the DOM HTML element. So that means if you open our ref text input .js, so we have applied the ref to a DOM HTML element. So if we apply DOM HTML element, so what we are getting, we are getting the current HTML. So the HTML what we have applied the ref that is we are getting now if uh, for example if there is a component here so then what will happen so what is the data will be getting? so now let's try to see so i am trying i am creating a component here parent ref text input okay text input dot js okay now here i will be having export default class parent ref text input okay, extends component okay so we will be having like this so this is one com another one component and in this one what i will try to have is i will try to have a render and in this one return so i will be having one div here i will be applying parent ref text in sorry ref text input okay so that the uh, the component what we have created i am applying it into this one and here what i will try to do is i will try to create a constructor so this will take the props so here you will be having super of props and here what i will try to do is so here we will try to have this dot component ref i am creating a ref here react dot create ref so i have created a ref here react i am using the react so here we have created a component ref i am applying the ref to a component see here i am applying this one to a component not to a html element so now we have applied this ref component to here so now let's try to see so if we check component did mount if i see console.log this dot component ref okay so let's try to see the output and now you let me go to the app.js and in the app.js what i will try to do is here i will try to give parent ref input text box okay so parent ref input text box automatically renders the ref input text input text box right so this is the parent for this one so now let's try to see the output now if i try to see the output okay if i refresh this one now if I, if you try to see here we are getting an object current and we are getting the instance of the component so what is the instance of the component so the instance of the component for which the ref has been defined so this the component is there right the instance of this one ref text input okay so this is the instance so the instance we are getting so now if you try to see the dot current if i try to refresh it so here we got the instance so this is the instance so run the the instance what we are having for that component we are getting so note that the component for which the ref we have applied it should be a class component so then only we will get the instance why because instead the class will have an instance right the function components will not have an instance that is the reason so now if you are applying ref to any component means then you need to have you need to know that the component for which the ref is being applied is should be a class component so now we got the instance so now with using this instance what i can do i can call this method now let's try to call this method dot current dot focus input so if you call this uh, if you call this method automatically from parent what you are trying to do you are trying to call the focus input method so that the input ref whatever the whatever the whatever the here we are having it will be focused see if you try to see here automatically what has happened uh, if you see leela webdo has been inserted and the focus is also there so where from where this one is coming so here from the ref text in so we are, we are executing the method and here the focus and all the things it is applying so if you want to see i can pass here calling from parent okay now here what i can do value i can take the value here i can do something like value and here what i can do so in here also dot bind of this comma calling from child okay so here calling from child 
calling from child here and this one is the parent and we are calling from parent now if i try to refresh this one see if i try to refresh this automatically what will happen let's try to see here see we are able to see that we are calling from parent so that means the, the parent ref input on component it bound it is getting the ref of this component that is nothing but the instance of this component and in, through that instance we are calling the methods whatever the methods present inside this com uh, inside this class we are calling so automatically we are passing a value so that that value is displaying here and if i go inside this one if i click on this button calling from child so automatically the value has been updated so in the in the child component okay so this is how if you apply if you apply ref to a component it will get the instance and if you apply ref to a dom html element you will get the dom html element so if let's let us open this react.js and in the docs if you open let's go to the advanced guides and refs and the dom and here we have seen adding ref to a co class component so that class component we have added and we are getting we, uh, we have already seen right so we can call the so here in the parent we are calling and this input element is automatically called here see this is how we can use it <clears throat> so now this is, this is how we will be using this one okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.